Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, this video is for the people that didn't get a chance. You know, people working during the day, people got things going on, people are in school. You didn't get a chance to see the MLB The Show developers live stream. I'm bringing it to you guys right now. So I hope you enjoy it guys. Let me get my pretty face out of the way. But yeah guys, it was a good stream. Like I said guys, you guys subscribe to Hollywood Sports for a reason. I'm supposed to provide you with good content, entertain you, and just 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 make you happy by being a subscriber and a star and a team member of Hollywood Sports. So guys, here it goes. That's an uh, MLB The Show 18 developers live stream. Enjoy it guys, enjoy it. Especially for you. Kind of. So you can't, so there's a new legend. <laughs> new legend. What's, what else is under there? There's new event. New event. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh. Positional programs only. and. The immortal events. The immortal event. What is that? We're going to talk about that yeah. very soon and a quality of life update. But before we get to that stuff, we got a giveaway. What are we giving away today? I've got a Ken Griffey Jr. autographed Ooh. baseball. What do you got, Luis? Cody Bellinger, autographed baseball. And I have a Aaron Judge, 2017 Ooh. Home Run Derby. It's a big autographed one. Autographed baseball. So these are all MLB authenticated. There you go. How you can win them. We're going to have a Twitch giveaway at 210. We're going to give away the keyword. Remember, no purchase necessary. You have to live in the U.S. Got to be present to win. You can find all the rules of the show nation, yep. and we'll never ask for your password. So shout out to Charles for making this Twitch giveaway yeah. happen. So we got we got all this cool live content we're mm -hmm. gonna talk about, but uh, we had the patch go out overnight. Yep, we had a patch that went out overnight this morning. A few other things going on. A few other things going on, so let's talk about it. So quality of life, what does quality of life mean? It means like the state of the game, where it's at, where it's mm -hmm. gonna go. Mm -hmm. The future, uh, patch 109 went out late last night. I think people have been playing for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Patch notes are on the forums, and we also have a dedicated thread on the show nation for feedback play the game play it a lot give us feedback on the form yeah some of, some of that's not just gameplay mm -hmm. we're looking for what you guys want to see outside of the hitting and pitching and the fielding so when you step out of the game uh gameplay that is mm -hmm. and you're in the menus you're you're doing anything with diamond dynasty with franchise whatever it might be what would make the game better for what you? would make the game yeah. better for you so this isn't the last patch for 18 also there's will be mm -hmm. another dedicated thread i don't know if it's up yet but there will be a second dedicated thread for quality of life stuff outside of gameplay, like front end stuff, like things that doesn't have right. to do with gameplay. And we're looking for things that aren't multiply repeated over yeah. and over. Like we know you want multiple lineups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know you want that for MLB to show 19, but yeah. other things we're looking for, things that could be possibly in a patch update or things that could be in MLB 19 because we're in the process of pre-production for MLB the show. Uh, 19. So that, that's all on the shownation.com mm -hmm. forums. So Can't look, make any promises. Uh, things that we can fix, we always fix. Some things are a little bit more difficult to tweak because you touch one thing, other things move. Uh, if something isn't fixed that you guys think should be fixed, if it was easy, we probably would have fixed it already, but we still want to hear about it. So play 109, let us know what you think. Last thing about quality of life, we got through the vast majority of all the tickets. So those last two things, if something happens mm -hmm. with your account and you're missing something, please email us. Like I said, we've gotten through the very, very vast majority of those. Yeah. So response time is really quick right now. And if you run into any other bugs or glitches or things of that nature, be sure to go to the Show Nation, find that little bug icon, click on it, submit the bug report, and we'll fix what we can. Again, that's the best way to report issues with the game is the bug reporter am i missing anything no i think that covers a lot of it that covers a lot of yeah. it so content yeah this is what we really want to talk about so in about five minutes we'll do the keyword for those three baseball giveaways and now let's let's dive in so we promised a new legend uh this is one that we haven't talked about before in mlb the show 18 brand new to the game and it's not just a new legend it's a new immortal immortal Ooh, a new yeah. immortal so uh you know like we like to do we kind of tell you a little bit about them mm -hmm. see if you guys can guess them uh, Three-time MVP, Ooh, so nice. this isn't just anyone. 24 All-Star Game selections, which is pretty nuts. I think Hank Aaron was the only one who had more mm -hmm. than this person. A 331 lifetime batting average, so when it comes to in-game, you know he's going to have some really good hitting stats. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a good nickname. What was his nickname? His nickname was The Man. The Man. The Man. <laughs> the man. Let's like see our newest legend. 
Stay, Stay in the, the museum. museum. Stay in the band <laughs> museum. That's right. We're very excited. I mean, this is one of the best baseball players. He's a top of ten, all time. Top ten player of all time. All right time. up there with uh, with Babe and uh, and some of the other immortals we've we've got. So. Um, I think that's yeah. where we ended up putting them in the game, too. Yeah, that's let's funny. Let's yeah. take a look. Like, yeah, right. let's, let's go in-game. So we're about to go to one of our dev uh, developer kits here. So this is not live in the show not 18 yet. yet, but tomorrow it will be. So Stan Musia will have his own program right there next to Babe on the, the Mount Rushmore of Immortals. That's right. Uh, do you want to do you want to go into his attributes? Ooh, I mean, I think people want to see what's going on. You got to so, get people what they want. Programs will look very similar to the other immortals, where we have different versions of Stan Musial, including an impact veteran, uh, bronze at the beginning, his rookie, which is a nice gold. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a few items along the way, and then the immortal 99, of course, 99 overall with the planet. The planet rarity. <laughs> planet rarity. <laughs> planet so rarity. we talked about a 331 lifetime average. He hit for some power too. So you guys ready? Here we go. Hit the button. All right. So Woo! when I said, you know, he's he sits right next to Babe, I, I meant it. You know, that they're, they're the only two players in the game with 125 in both contacts. 125. 125 contact versus righty. He's maxed. Yeah, 125 versus lefties. And he's also currently the only player in the game with 125 vision. Ooh. He just never struck out. <laughs> never. Ne never, ever. Yeah, he's a lefty. <laughs> he plays right field uh, as an immortal, but also the other outfield positions, right? Right, that's right. And first base as a secondary. Yeah, so stand the man. Stand the man. Fielding, you know, right fielder. He's not Still Vlad. Right. You know, that's our other <laughs> immortal right fielder right now in the game. So Stan's our second right fielder to go in there. Uh, I know Vlad's got that arm, right? People yeah. love the People cannon love out the there cannon. in the corner. Yeah. So you'll have a tough decision here. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at... Yeah, so how do you actually acquire him? Right, right. so mm -hmm. if you're new to Diamond Dynasty, for those who are just watching for the first time, you go to the programs, then you hit R1 or L1, and it takes you to the missions. Like that, real fast. Real fast. <laughs> yes. Don't do that. Key Spanish. I think my Spanish. button got stuck. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, what you see here are souvenir and autograph, uh, autograph and bobblehead exchanges. Now, the way that you've seen these before is that you'd look for these souvenirs in packs. You'd look for them in the marketplace. That's not the case with Stan Musial. As you'll see in the mission screen here, uh, you can earn these items through the Immortal event. We'll have multiple Immortal events through the year. That's, that's a big deal. Maybe we have one coming up soon. Maybe we have one. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about one real soon. Uh, and then future rank seasons. <laughs> so let's be clear, right? Stan Musial, Immortal. You cannot purchase any souvenirs or any items that you need for Musial in the marketplace. And you don't have to purchase any packs. Either. And you don't have to purchase any packs. So no marketplace, no packs. Well, you got to just play. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing here. So let's talk about how you're going to get this bobblehead, how you're going to get the autograph, uh, and we'll kick it off with uh, an event. Ramon, you want to take us event? to... We'll do, what's our time check for the keyword? Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, maybe we Three should... Minutes. Three minutes. We still got a few. All still right. got a few. So we'll go so through we this nice event. and slow. All right, so the... Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, we have the first Immortal event. It's Immortal yeah. NL Central. It'll start tomorrow, and it'll end on May 23rd. So you got about five-day work week to play. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, 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 what's about this event? It'll be All-Star, All-Star difficulty. Um, That's right. Mm -hmm. NL Central and Common Players. Mm -hmm. right. Max so team overall, mm -hmm. 73. Mm -hmm. Minimum player overall, 60. Very important. And this will be a six-game event. Now here's another six thing. Inning. Six, six inning. inning. I'm sorry. Six inning event. Little twist, guest yeah. pitch on, but it's the guest pitch where you get to move your PCI after the fact. It's called uh, Guest Pitch PCI. It's called Guest Pitch right. PCI. So throwing a little curveball in there, changing yeah. up the gameplay a little bit. Remember, free entries. What can you win by playing? Right, so we event? showed you those exchange missions mm -hmm. for InMusial's program. And so right here, you can win up to three, uh, or, you know, you can, yeah, you can earn up to three of these Musial bobbleheads at your 10, 20, and 30th event win. And along the way, there's also a flashback there, but let me just touch on the bobblehead here. So, you know, the way the events work, again, if you've never played it, you don't ever have your wins reset during this. You just keep climbing, so you can lose as many times, you know, as it takes. But if you want to keep pursue, you know, persevering, try to get the 10th, 20th, 30th, that means you can complete that first exchange mission. And I'm going to go back real quick to the program just to make this point. So if you exchange two of those bobbleheads right here, which I'll show you the mission here, there's one of them, and there's his autograph. 
So if you get two of them, you would exchange right there and that would take you to 10% and you'd unlock the first day of Musial card. So basically, if, as long as you get 20 wins in this event starting tomorrow, you'll get two of those bobbleheads and you'll have the first day of Musial card. And the other thing, so we mentioned that you get him by playing either uh, events or ranked seasons, right? right? And we also have the uh, you know the the missions the the player specific missions that you you know you've come to right. come to know yep. uh, from the other career arcs right. and immortals. So yeah, so there's there's a couple play missions here. One for the impact veteran and one for the rookie. Yeah. Right. But you got to acquire them first to start making any progress there. All right. So it's two ten. We're going to give out the keyword. Okay. Keyword. The keyword. Only need to put it in once. Just once uh, on Twitch only. Right? On Twitch only. So if you're on Facebook, you have to come over to yep. Twitch. The keyword is Stan. The man. No One spaces. word. No One spaces. Word. One word. Don't need to put it in caps. And that's for these three autographed yep. signed baseballs. Stand Kendrick the man. Eugene, stand the man. Aaron Judge and who's the third autographed Bellinger. baseball? Cody Bellinger. So stand the man. All right. Uh, so real quick on the, this about? one. So this will be the first immortal event, right? So uh, some of you may be wondering, well, how many of these bobbleheads do I need to get for Stan Musial? Right. In the end, uh, it's 12 total autographs or bobbleheads. So right. here is a quarter of them right here in this one event, three out of the 12. That's right. Am I doing math right? Yeah. Yeah, that's I think, I think so. So. <laughs> that's right. so you can get done a quarter of this. We're gonna do uh, several more immortal events. Some of them will be division themed like NL mm -hmm. Central. You'll see some other ones along the way and ranked seasons will start incorporating this starting in June like Louis said. Yep. So uh, we mentioned the bobbleheads. We showed you this is how you're gonna end up earning Stan Musial, an immortal legend right on your team. Uh, for the next few weeks and months. I feel and like we've kind of... And then there's another reward up yeah, there that we can't... Yeah, we just kind of glossed <laughs> over. Yeah. That's so, at 25 cumulative wins, you yes. get this all-star flashback 2012 Andrew McCutcheon car. So we take a look at... Yes. Let's take a look. Let's, let's go. So, look. And remember, this we're on the dev kit. We are right. So this we're in the future. We're in the future. We're in the future. So he'll be right there listed, hopefully for a little more than that, I think. Otherwise, I'm getting my, my McCutcheon right away. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is. There's... The All-Star 2012. So this wasn't his MVP year. No, nope, we, we, had, we had done his MVP last year. Mm -hmm. um, but it turns out uh, this, this year in 2012, he had better hitting stats, actually, than what? his MVP year in 2013. So uh, we went ahead and, uh, and did this, this 2012 version. This and McCutcheon. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've got Trout in the game right now, but he doesn't have anything over a 99 in center mm -hmm. field. So we're talking right. about someone with 84 fielding, 82 speed. Yeah. 80 power versus lefty, the 125 versus lefty, and then versus righty. You know, the power isn't isn't quite there at the, the premier power hitting, but for center field, he's a, for yeah. center field, you know. He's a five-tool guy for sure, and yeah. uh, even though even though the four for, the first four attributes look imbalanced, it's just because of the 125. Yeah, you know? yeah. So <laughs> high. it's so high. <laughs> it's so high. Right, otherwise, the rest are pretty solid. Exactly. To go along with that speed and power. I'm, I'm trying to, right now, I don't know what lineups you guys are rocking, but I'm trying to get more speed in my outfield. So mm -hmm. right now, I'm kind of sacrificing hitting for a little better defense and fielding. What? McCutcheon, yeah. you don't really have to sacrifice. Exactly. You know? That's right. Yeah. All right. All right, so let's go back to the event. And so we'll let, let's see. We got Musial yeah. coming tomorrow. We got the event coming tomorrow. Five days. McCutcheon will be there. 25 community wins. Yep, Opportunity the 25th. Win to win so three that's, bobble hits. And that's not all. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, we haven't forgotten about all the other <laughs> no, no. immortals in career arcs, right? That's right. So um, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the four new positional programs Ooh. that are coming. Four right. new programs. Right, so let's start going up here. And we've got um, we've got another future star. Uh, we released Scott Kingery mm -hmm. recently, yeah. and now we've got Fernando Romero. Who's the Fernando, Twins. Romero? Who's Fernando Romero? Starting pitcher for the Twins, <laughs> okay. future star. So throws gas, as you can see, 96 mile an hour two seamer. Okay. And he's already started his career giving up one run in uh, his first three starts. So he's you know. 2021, which is the year we kind of project our future stars to be uh, okay. to be at, that might come sooner might rather come sooner than, than, later. than rather than later. So Fernando Romero, our first of, of four new positional programs for uh, for tomorrow. So we had a lot of uh, future stars last year uh, from different teams. I know Jose Barrios, his teammate, was yeah, one yeah, of them. Exactly. Uh, Twins have another bright start, you know, bright future here with the starter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at some point, will there be? You know more of these future stars, Luis. Yeah, Luis. Yeah, you can expect you can ex expect more okay. future stars, and uh, you know there's some there's some pretty premier players there that that, that are coming. That are and is, coming. are those guys we saw last year some new ones too? New ones for okay. the most part. Yep. Nice. Okay. So, but we may see some return guys. You know, uh, 
We actually haven't decided that. Um, yeah, there's a list yeah, of brand full, new ones. Full honesty, we haven't decided. Yeah. But, so uh, it's a possibility. Yeah, but there's more coming, okay. for sure. I mean, I think we've seen some really good rookies out there already perform this year, haven't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, be on the lookout for more future stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so um, that's the first of the new, four new position programs. Cool. Let's keep going down the list. Oh. We've got a new gold center fielder there, Austin Jackson. He was one of the best uh, leadoff hitters in, in the game. Breakout and, 2012. Yeah. yeah, breakout 2012. So uh, he's another one of those kind of five tool players, maybe four and a half tool four and players. Four and a half, say four and a half. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, Austin Jackson. Very cool. Uh, we've got another. Woo. Outfielder right here, Adam Lind. He's a 2009 breakout. I he don't was, think of speed when I think of Adam Lind. <laughs> no, but you know what you do? You should think about what? his 35 home runs uh, that year in 2009. Monster versus Ooh. righties. Yeah. Diamond shield for the hitting. Yeah, the diamond hitter. Building not so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. You can't <laughs> him anyway. Back when he was a Blue Jay. Yeah. Wow. And, and so as we're going through these, Luis, like how are we going to earn them, I guess we should kind of mention. It's very sure. similar to the other position programs where they're going to have a mission for that player. Yeah, let's take a look at yeah. Lind, for example. Sure. So we've got um, that first mission will only uh, unlock once you've acquired right, him. Right, right. But then you've also got um, kind of like what we started in the last batch of position programs. Right, so the newest this, ones. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the last mm -hmm. batch. We, we've got a little mission to get you started, a right. little play mission to get you started. And in this case, it's uh, three bombs and six RBIs with left-handed hitters. Right, and you're going to look for any Blue Jays souvenir, whether it's an autograph, a bobblehead, a bat, whatever Anyone you want. Anyone will do. Yeah. Yeah. So we've, we've seen three of the four new ones. Okay. I Last feel like one, we have another good one here. Yeah, big power. Bigger than oh, that? Bi yeah, bigger what? than that. Okay. <laughs> We got Mark Reynolds. Ooh, whoa. Arizona yep. Diamondback days. Another break. So it's a trio of breakouts. Um, nice. For the four new positional programs. The big power for big Reynolds. Big power. Joey Gallo light. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Joey Gallo I mean, look at that power and vision, right? Um, but he's got this. He's got some speed too. He can he can steal some bags. What? Yeah. Really? You think oh. so? Oh yeah, he can steal 58. some bags. Yeah. Have you played our game? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be 99, 99 <laughs> yeah, to steal some. You bags. just gotta get a good lead, good jump. Pick yeah, a you gotta pitch. Pick, a, pick a nice count, and yeah, you can definitely steal. Do you some want bags. to throw a knuckleballer out of your no, bullpen? No I'm steal stealing bags. bases all day. Hitting bombs. <laughs> well, that yeah. hard is to hit bombs. <laughs> on the off, on the off chance that you just get a single. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but this is bombs. only an 80 overall, so it's the lowest gold we could have, and right. yet th those power numbers. I mean, Joy you're Gallo sacrificing light. vision, you're sacrificing contact, but yeah. We all know that ball is going to travel that if you make contact. Travel, you make contact. <laughs> yeah. Got Joey Gallo light. You're going to see that. <laughs> yep. Some tells me this is the car people are going to try to get first. <laughs> so so the, he's the last of our four position programs That's rolling right. out tomorrow with the event, with the Musial program, uh, with the McCutcheon uh, reward there in the event. And, uh, you know, there's a lot more coming. So as you see, we're building and building on these position programs. And we mentioned last week's blog on the shownation.com that, you know, we're adding these position programs and that's going to lead the way uh, with gold, with diamonds for the next set of career arcs, which will be coming in a few weeks. And I'm sure we'll do another stream or mm -hmm. we'll, you know, have something big to talk about and that. why are the career arcs important, Steven? Let's refresh. Sure. So, Luis, when you, when you take a look at the career arc that we're seeing here, there's this like first wave of, I think, what, 12 guys? Mm -hmm. And they're all uh, tying right into the Immortals, with the exception of Musial now. So, exactly. Billy Williams ties into Babe Ruth. What we're not seeing here is the other career arc player at left field who ties also into Babe Ruth, and that's why you're going to always see a coming soon um, kind of program souvenir. But we're getting close, and these position programs, depending on what position we're talking about, will help you take that next step closer. You're going to want to do them. Exactly. So I don't know if we had, do we have any left fields right now? Do we have any uh, left fielders in our position programs that we've recently... Uh, released Lind. or will Lind, Adam Lind. So Adam Lind, I think, is going to end up tying right into Babe Ruth. So, you know, even if you like the power better on someone like Reynolds for your lineup, Lind will help they're, you get closer to Ruth. They're all going to be useful. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. What do we got? One, two minutes. Two minutes on the giveaway. On the giveaway. Okay. So we went through four new programs. We showed yep. the cards. We talked about the event. Yeah, I think also it's almost over. Yep, also coming tomorrow, uh, roster update. However, not the trans. Uh, it's, it's focused on transactions, not on the attributes, right? Right. So we're doing uh, we're doing attributes next week. Uh, right. So you can expect that. And last Friday, fifty. 
players were upgraded. We had that Diamond Severino. Mm -hmm. yeah. He went Ooh. Diamond. Who's yeah. going Diamond? Big upgrade. Somebody going Diamond, Luis? No hints? No nothing? <laughs> no, no hints. We got to see Luis. how they perform, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. No, no exactly. hints. No hints. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the chat's got some uh, opinions on who should be the next Diamond out oh, there. Oh, I'm sure they do. Who should be the next Diamond? <laughs> I, know, uh, I know a pitcher on the Astros besides Verlander that's having a really good year. Right. He's been upgraded. He's pretty close. Yeah, he's close. Which would be their entire starting five. Who else? <laughs> There's actually a couple of starters in the AL West that are pretty close, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know there's some there's some good players out there having a career year. They're yeah. finally breaking out. I, th I, yeah. I, I like some of those guesses. Now, what did <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember? Aaron Judge this year, our cover boy. He's a uh, he's a uh, he was a common last year to start, right? Yeah. And they, he ended last year as a gold, so he went up all those tiers. There's got to be a player or two that's going to climb a few tiers this year too. Well, there's think, always one. Or, there's I think we're one. already seeing one? one or two. Well, I mean. Just Might be more than one. I'm trying yeah. to pull something out of Luis. Like, no, no spoilers from Luis about the roster update. So, the don't have to put a key keyword anymore. Vic is now running the app and choosing the winners for the three signed autograph MLB authenticated baseballs. Aaron Judge. No, that's King of Virginia. Virginia. And that's not a regular. That's the Hall of Fame. King this is the ball. retirement Yeah, number. retirement one. Yeah. That one's really, really important. Very nice. Cody this Bellinger. is Cody Bellinger, home run derby, and... Round it off, Aaron Judge, and home run. Right, and all MLB authenticated, so you guys know Derby you're getting good, the legit ball. <laughs> Remember, you got to be on Twitch to be a part of, and there goes the ball. <laughs> got to be on Twitch to be a part of the sweepstakes. So, what else we got? We're talking about roster updates, yeah. more programs, more <laughs> events coming soon. Everything's fine. Uh, we'll probably, when do you think we'll stream again? Um... When's the next? Yeah, I mean, update? going back to what we talked about at the very top, if you're just joining mm -hmm. us, we have a thread open on the show nation. Two, we have two threads. One right. thread one for, for the patch. patch 109 feedback. I want your feedback. And we have another thread for more quality of life mm -hmm. changes that could possibly be implemented to MLB to show 18, or it could be MLB mm -hmm. to show 19 things. And we're looking for small, non right. gameplay uh, type things that we might not know about. The big stuff, you know, we know about. We know you want multiple lineups and stuff like that. So we're looking for out of game front end type things that could or could not be added in possible updates or maybe right. it's something we put uh, into the queue for MLB to show 19 since we're just starting pre-production. Yeah, um, even, even something like general competition if mm -hmm. you'd like to see harder difficulties yep. or if you'd want to see certain um, different types of changes Actually like just that, uh, you know? talking to Lance about that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. this event again it's all star, all star and then now since there's a new patch out Lance will be able to look at this new event and yeah. we can contrast all of the telemetry data versus it and see what could be the next right. change that we do. Uh, is that it? Is that it? I saw a question about ticket counter and we will be updating ticket counter eventually. Don't worry, we'll have some more players. We know some of you guys are sitting on some big piles of, of tickets. tickets and Although actually, I'm not, I'm not sitting on, on Oh, you gotta on play more, many. man. <laughs> <laughs> updating all those players, is that it? I think that's all. Anything else? We forget anything, Shafe? No. All right. Um, Till the next stream, we out. Thank you. Stay.